Hello and welcome back to Bethlehem Nightly. I'm Maz Alder. And I'm Barb Mitzler. Today's headlines, King Herod's been tweeting in the middle of the night again. What's it all about? In Census Day, we're going to see how Bethlehem is coping with all the chaos. Celestial mystery as a star is homing in on Bethlehem. And we hear from the Donkey Defence League who are concerned of the additional pressure that the census is having on the donkeys. Especially the little ones. Good evening. King Herod's been back at it again, posting more cryptic tweets in the middle of the night. This time they seem to relate some visitors from the east visiting the palace in the search of the new King of the Jews. His first tweet said, Fed up of so-called wise men coming here talking about new kings. Sad. Hashtag don't listen to the experts. Hashtag immigrants go home. His second tweet said, I'm not going to lose my title to a crybaby with smaller hands than me. Hashtag I'm the king. Hashtag fake news. So what's it all about? What has our oh-so-impressive king so scared and shaken? Indeed. Joining us today to shed some light on the truth behind Herod's Bizarre Tweets is Jonathan Nozalot. Jonathan, hi. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for inviting me. So what are these tweets about? Well, they are really quite interesting, actually. It seems that these wise men are, in fact, looking for a new king. In fact, they could be actually looking for the Messiah. The Messiah? Yes, there are... There are a number of uh, scholars that believe the prophecies to do with the Messiah means that he is imminent. And this latest bizarre development does seem to fit. So these prophecies exactly, what are they? Well, the scriptures make a number of prophecies about the Messiah. They say he will come to earth, that he will liberate Israel, that he will free the world. But there are a couple of very specific prophecies that make this particular incident very interesting. The scriptures suggest that he will be born in Bethlehem, and that he will come from the royal line of David, and that he will be a miraculous birth, you see, born of a virgin. My word, that's very interesting. Let's take a look at King Herod's press conference from earlier this morning. Good morning, Christy Mass here from the Daily Herald. Um. We have heard reports that you were visited by some wise men from the East last night. What did they say? Listen, I'm the wisest one around here. Nobody's as wise as me. And let me tell you, these guys weren't wise, they were dumb. Hi there, Brandon Brutter, Juice in Jerusalem. Did they tell you they were looking for a new king? Your fake news, sit what? down. <laughs> but, but these, um... Fake astro- news. Yeah, obviously. Um, These were astronomers from the East. Why did they come here? Finally, a good question. Thank you. Why did they come here? Not to pay the taxes, to commit crimes, to take our jobs, to smuggle gold, incense and myrrh. We don't want them here. No, I'm announcing a ban on all wise men from the East. Immediately. Um, Very good, but um, how exactly are you going to keep them out? We're going to build a wall to keep all wise men out. And they're going to pay for it. Right, so you're telling me just stupid men from the East are welcome then? That's it, fake news. Not okay. Again. Let me hear a prophecy about you. Um, okay, no, there's not going to be one. Security? What? Just want to say one final thing. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. One more thing. I'm going to make Israel great again. Hostile scenes from within the White Palace conference room. Professor, any final thoughts? Well, it is clear to me that Herod is rattled by this talk of the new Messiah. These are very interesting times. Thank you, Professor, for your fascinating insights. Of course. That was Professor Nozalot from Old Scrolls University. In other news, the day the country has been preparing for is finally here, and it is, of course, Census Day. Every citizen, as ordered by Our Majesty King Herod, travels far and wide to register in their hometowns. Our census correspondent is on the scene. Frank, over to you. I'm here 
in Bethlehem with our uh, innkeeper Potter holes, the streets are packed and so are the inns. So tell me, Potter, exactly how packed is your pub? Pretty packed, if I'm honest, Frank. Pretty packed. I mean, I, I've got them coming out of my ears. Sounds to me like business is booming then. Mm, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty packed. I mean, I'm standing room only now. I mean, I'm proper chocker block, I tell you, right? I, I can't have anyone else. I'm sorry, I'm turning them away now. I can't even have little people like you. <coughs> yeah, well, uh, I hope you can keep in good spirits amongst the hustle and bustle. Thank you for talking to us. Oi, clear off, I got no room in the inn. P pl please, sir, we, we've um. been looking all night. My, my wife is pregnant, we're, we're desperate for a room. Please, sir, are you sure? Get on your donkey. Didn't you not hear me? <laughs> I've got no room. Uh, it seems we have a situation developing here, Bob. Let me try and talk to this couple. <laughs> Excuse me, did you say you couldn't find any room anywhere? N no, we, we can't find one anywhere. It's, it's impossible. A and your wife is pregnant. Th th very much so. She's about to pop. <laughs> and and you're, and you're, Potter, you're turning them away despite she's... She's pregnant. <coughs> no, 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 no. You, you didn't let me finish. Right. Like I were saying, I've got no rooms. Sorry, I've got no rooms. But you look like lovely people, right? You look like lovely stand-up people. So I've got a stable around the back, if that's good enough for you. Anything. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're so kind. Whatever I can do to help is fine. I'm just sorry there's not more I can do for you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, it seems the crowded streets is not all that Census Day has to offer us this, uh, today. We now have the, the cry of a newborn baby to look forward to. And with that, it's back to the studio. Thanks, Frank. You don't think that baby... Uh, stay tuned as we follow Census Day. Uh, what year is it again? want to ease a lowly animal suffering, please watch. This census, thousands of donkeys will have to carry up to 10 times their own weight, crippled under heavy load and scorching under the baking sun. Many will come close to death. Will you give the gift of life to a loving donkey this census? 10 pieces of silver will provide a donkey with water, rest and a loving home after their journey. Call 0800 1134 EOR to donate today. And please remember, donkeys are for life, not just for census. The census time! Grab yourself a copy of Joe Hardy's new festive album, Riding Home for the Census. Oh, I can't wait to see those faces. Featuring classic tracks such as All I Want for Census is You. I don't want a love for census. There is just one thing I need. I don't care about the presents. Last census. To save me from tears. I'll give it to someone special. Special. Last I wish it could be census every day. Could be census every day. Beginning to look a lot like census. Census. Everywhere. Do they know it's census time? Let them know it's census time. Count the world. And the hit single, I don't want to miss a thing. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep. Go a soundtrack to your census. And I don't want Pick up a copy today. Cause even when I dream of you Welcome back to Bethlehem Nightly. As we celebrate Census Day, we follow the reactions from in and around the city. Our Census Day correspondent, Frank Incense, is on the ground getting reactions to the census. And now he's outside the city walls seeing how our shepherds are doing on this momentous day. Frank, over to you. with uh, Sean the Shepherd on the hills just outside Bethlehem. So tell me, Sean, how has the census affected you? Oh, uh, not much, really. Nothing really changes for us, just night underneath the stars for us. 
Business as usual, then. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I couldn't care less about this census thing or whatever that insane Herod has. <laughs> I think he meant the insanely awesome Herod. Uh, was so, uh, so, so neither the, uh, the, the donkeys or the amount of people coming through has affected you at all? Couldn't care less, to be frank. Uh, I think you're fine. I'm frank, actually. <laughs> Come on, Sean. We have to go. The angels, they sent them the for um, Bethlehem. Angels? Yeah! Well, uh, with shepherds w running off from its reports of the Messiah being born. It's back to you in the studio, Bob. We can't quite believe the events that are unfolding tonight. Um, we brought back in our expert to tell us more. Uh, Jonathan, what on earth is going on? <clears throat> well, well, Maz, I, I can't lie to you. The events of this evening are disturbingly accurate in comparison with the prophecies in the scripture regarding the coming of the Messiah. <gasps> Surely this can't be. Well, I'm not one to jump to conclusions, but... Yeah, when you look at all the evidence of this evening's events, you can't help but wonder. I mean, we just witnessed an angelic gathering. I mean, there is no doubt in my mind that the king is coming. This could be the single greatest story ever reported on Bethlehem Nightly. Let's take it immediately back to Frank in Bethlehem. Frank, over to you. Hi, Bob. That's right, I'm here at Potter's Pub in the stable out the back, and the scene is just incredible. It, the atmosphere is indescribable. May you reign forever, my king. Emmanuel, God with us. Now and forever, amen. Well, there you have it. A new baby for a new kingdom. The Messiah has been born before us. Back to you in the studio. What an incredible moment we just saw here on Bethlehem Nightly. The birth of the Messiah himself, Emmanuel. This just in. Herod has tweeted his response to the miraculous birth. He says... Due to camera tricks and fake speculations, any sane person would have to order a decree to kill every male child that looks under the age of two. Hashtag fake news, hashtag nice try, hashtag long live me. Well, this is a bold move from King Herod. What will become of this baby? Born from a virgin, destined to save humanity? On behalf of me and Barb, we're rooting for you, kid. Overthrow the corrupt administration. Don't let Herod find you. Save the world! Every moment spent with you is a moment I treasure. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby. And I don't want to miss a thing. Because even when I dream of you, the sweetest dream will never do. I don't 